All right, so I think I've uh, remembered the issue. We just have to fix it now. So in game panel, uh, there are two issues with the check collisions method. Number one, you can label loops. And the reason you want to do this is sometimes the problem was, one of the problems was we weren't, after we found a collision, we like kept checking the rest of the map, uh, which we shouldn't do. So we want, after this, we want to say this, uh, this command called break A. And all this says is once you find a collision, stop checking everything else and then continue on with the programming, let the ball move forward. Um, and if you don't do that, it, like the behavior is weird. The second thing of three that we need to fix is we don't actually want to create a new object and copy the map array and reference that. We just want to reference the actual map array. So like we just need to use the map object which isn't a 2D array directly. So we need to say get map array dot length. And so that should fix the second issue. But the map is still drawing every single brick. It's not just drawing the ones that have uh, values uh, greater than zero, which is the way we have this thing set up. So we need to do an if check. If the map at row, and this is in the map class, at row column, this is the maps draw method here. If the map array, the 2D array, contains a value at row column that is greater than zero, then we want to draw everything, but we don't want to draw it otherwise. So, because if it has a value of zero, that's just the value that we've, it could be like 5, 12, doesn't matter. But it's the value we have picked to indicate that there is no longer a brick at that location in the array. And I didn't test this out, but I think this will fix the issues. Let's see. If it fixes the issues. <laughs> nope. Oh, that's because it's like stuck all funny style. Let's see what happens when it leaves here. Okay, so we can bounce it. It still gets stuck? Oh, is it because we're not doing uh, an if check if the map array? Okay, yeah, this should also have an if check in it, which I forgot about. If the map dot get array get map array uh, at row at row column is greater than zero. So oh not get insets. What in the world was it typing? Okay, so erase that get insets. Should just be the map array and we're just referencing that value. So if the map array then do all this stuff Right, because we only want to check for collisions if the map array says that there is, in fact, a brick there, which we have, again, arbitrarily said is any value above zero. If it goes to zero, that means the brick has vanished, we have killed off that brick, and we no longer want to test it for collisions or draw it. So in each case, testing for collisions and drawing, we need to have this if check. So if the map dot get map array, which returns a 2D array, row, column, is greater than zero, then do this check. And if it's not, don't. So let's see if that works. All right, it's behaving much more appropriately. I'm still not sure why the flashing is occurring right now. It certainly doesn't in the other one that I built. So we will fix that eventually. But it's looking a little bit better. It kind of freaks out when I move the paddle. Anyway, uh, it's, so it's, you know, it's pretty close to a real game at this point, which is pretty fun. It didn't take all that much work to get here. All right, next video.